It's your boy Ken Gillens on another episode of Out and About here on Yo Hashtag TV. We are here at the beautiful Nova Southeastern University for the Louder Than a Bomb Poetry Slam competition. We got high school students from all over South Florida expressing their words, sharing their thoughts, and their passion. There is some great poetry going on right now. You got to come inside and check it out. Follow me. Walk away with. Now I hope you can walk away with these doors. They are all. 
hit me so swiftly and almost lifted me out of my seat and I almost turned around and said, what the hell do you mean another black poem? See, we're supposed to just act normal and become oblivious to the fact that being black is scratch, that being black in America ain't where it's at right now. Quickly sat back down and he leaned over and whispered in my ear with his breath speaking of honesty and said, honestly, what do you think is happening now? He said, watch this. You ever noticed how your TV shows can literally trend for days while innocent teenage bodies sit calm and rotting graves while nobody pays them? Oh look, Empire's on. Ooh. If only Terrence Howard taught people how words can change a person's life. Okay, let me set the tone. They distract you with a show called Empire so you won't think twice about building your own. Now you know what they say, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife, but you can give them a show and make them a housewives of LA. Why isn't there anything productive on a TV anymore? The only thing that we should be able to See on CNN is us planning together to see CNN and racism. The only thing that we should be watching on CBS is why do we have to watch and see BS from you on a daily and still not have the power to speak out about it without being killed? But I know the drill. They say your mother was to serve and protect, but I guess you were telling the truth. You serve our bodies through our black communities to protect your image by saying you thought he or she had a weapon, but when there's lies on the line, there should be, and he guesses so many odds for ever being your favor. The government treats our society like hunger games, but then they wonder why the city is catching fire. They feed us lies, but the idea is playing alive, but the truth is everybody cannot be a survivor. There is no such thing as a fairy tale ending. Everybody here cannot be Kenneth Everdeen because these games was never deemed to be fair in the first place to my black people. This poem is not just about us, this is about the whole US as a whole, so just open our eyes, rise, and take us out of tired of being tired. No, I'm tired of being tied up to a noose. I'm on the tree in the first place, but then I start to notice how much you hated our roots and didn't want us to branch off and actually leave that slavery mentality with actually and stuff that they have succeeded because we're still treated like the mistress of society and don't lie to me and give me that the black of the berry, the sweet of the juice, because what happens when the juice is squeezed out of you and you left in the sun to dry off. But that's not necessarily make us as tough as a raisin. Kind of makes sense because we always left raisin. I messed up in the midst of any problematic situation. What happened to action? Instead why the system is failing us, but as long as they keep telling us, they're doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Ain't that broken fool? If Dan Wilson could shoot somebody down in the street and get away scot free because he charged towards his truck. Meanwhile, Margaret Washington is facing 20 years of spitting in a white lady cup. What the? Look it up. It's true. And I'm not going to stand up here and say the white people or any other race, but that matter on the press too. But the difference is I could lose my wife from making one minute move while you cringe in your seat because you're just tired of hearing it. I cringe to my seat and I'm tired of living it. No more giving in to keep this issue muted. Let's take our passion and refute it. Like, can I have faith, hard work, consistency on Palm 9, please? And don't tell me that those who actually care are the last of a dying breed, not even the black poem, will settle in. Because there's a million more poets right right now because it seems like racism would never end. Oh man, oh man, I think you can still see tears in my eyes. You, we are right now in the thick of the competition. Some of the individual performers just came through from the high schools and let me tell you something, these kids are incredibly dope. I'm hearing some stories, they're in here spitting their soul. The group competition is next. When I tell you this is exciting, this is exciting. It's a place to be right now. We, again, we're here at the Nova South, Nova Southeastern University for the Poetry Slam. I mean, I've never experienced something like this before. And right now, I'm telling you, this is probably one of the most amazing experiences I've had to see kids this age express themselves the way that they have. I honestly cannot wait for the rest of the show as well as the finals. Tune in, we got a whole lot more here on Out and About on your hashtag TV. We are here with the musical coordinator of the Louder Than a Bomb Poetry Slam, DJ Sko himself. DJ, hi, Mr. Sko, I, don't, I, I can call you a million things, but you the man. How you enjoying yourself so far? Man, I'm actually loving this. The experience with the kids and seeing how dedicated they are to what they're doing at the age that they are. You know, everybody sees the kids singing, rapping, dancing, so forth, but this creative writing that these kids are doing, and it's also letting us inside of what they have going on in life. It's been emotional, it's been exciting, it's great, man. I'm loving this, I'm really loving it. 
So I noticed that you always involved with something with the kids and the community, and that's what I appreciate out of you the most. What's this experience been like for you? Man, it's been amazing. I've been able to network with not just the kids, but different schools that I hadn't already been in contact with, um, just to be able to try to be a part of anything that they have going on in the near future. And I can relate with a lot of the kids because of my different experiences in life from, you know, the good stuff and the bad stuff. So. I'm enjoying it, man. It's been a great experience, man. I mean, great it, experience. it's honestly just the beginning. There's a few more rounds. We're in the regional uh, rounds right, right now, right? Right. right. Um, after they finish today, then tomorrow at the Coaches Slam, they're going to announce who's going to the finals, which is the 18th. I think it's the 18th. I know it's next week. Right. Okay. <laughs> but the finals, and then um, after the finals, then they got a statewide uh, thing that they're going to be doing. I think they're going to be holding it in Jacksonville. You heard that? Statewide. We are here, Yo Hashtag TV. This is an incredible event. Um, before I go, Scar, I just gotta know, how'd you get involved with this event? Actually, y'all, uh, the guy that put it all together from the Jason Taylor Foundation, Darius Daltrey, we've been friends since elementary school. Wow. And I re recently reconnected after I saw him on Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> and he saw what I was doing, I saw what he was doing, and I'm in the culture community already, and he's doing it with the kids, and he was like, yo, Let's get together, man. I got a big event I'm doing, and I'm gonna need you. And I was like, I, I, you know, I'm down, man. Anything for the kids. You see that? Beautiful people coming together for the kids, for the community. We're here with the master of ceremonies, Mr. DJ Sko himself. You're doing your thing, man. Poetry. Louder than a bomb, baby. Yo hashtag, Yo hashtag TV. TV. Let's go. Thanks, Sko. Be the man who demolishes social constructs and archaic archetypes. 
has brick by brick built a new ideal where bronze and bravado are no longer a definition for masculinity, so you don't have to buy bricks for breakfast and break down shoes for lunch. But you can buy me dinner. Okay. <laughs>
those of you who have just made it to the semi-final round, so one team that progresses will not get a trophy because you will be in the day the competition. That's not okay? Alright? So the winner, you don't get a trophy. Yeah. Alright? Okay, so, we'd also like to thank Witch of Creation. They have donated these trophies to us, so let's give them a round of applause. And that's good. So, um, everybody knows Mr. D. He will be awarding these trophies. Way more, Mr. D. Yes, yes. He's so modest. He's so modest. Hard over here. <laughs> okay. In fourth place, and I need from the audience to give it up like everybody on the stage just got first. I don't want you guys to pitter patter with your applause just because they're in fourth or third or second. I need the audience to go wild for every single school I now. Can we do that? Yeah. I need to get test run. Fourth place is... Yeah. Okay, okay, I, I know that. that. That's good, that's good. I think that I'd be happy if they did that for me, so... Yeah. Okay, so... Fourth place... We have Piper. Right here, Piper, please step forward so you can get all of your applause. Please step forward so they know who you are. Piper, full team. Piper, please step forward. Please step forward. And we would like every team to remain on the stage. There will be a group photo at the end. And I'm pretty sure our third place will feel it as well. We have Dillard. incredible show. I just had probably one of the best times I've had in a long time. And I'm standing here with one of the teachers of the event, Miss Imone Prosper. Miss Prosper, please tell us how you're feeling. I'm feeling absolutely amazing. It's such a great adrenaline here uh, for our first Louder Than a Bomb. It was just absolutely amazing. The kids were contenders and if you've been in sports you know what it's like to have like a rematch and that's what we had today and the kids were absolutely fabulous. As we can see. And what made you get involved? What, what made you say, you know what, I'm going to teach these kids? Well, I've been doing po poetry professionally for about 15 years and the last seven I've been working with the youth. It's just, an, it's just uh, very, very fulfilling and I learned so much for the kids, from the kids that it's just been, I couldn't, I can't stop. It's just, it's where I want to be. Well, listen, we certainly hope that you don't stop. I was inspired today. I certainly know you were as well. These kids did a phenomenal job, and I can't wait to see what's next. Absolutely. Stay tuned. Louder than a bomb. Yeah. 
that was another incredible episode here of Out and About on Yo Hashtag TV. The Louder Than a Bomb Poetry Slam was amazing. These kids were incredible. I'm inspired. I hope you're inspired. There's so much more to come. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Yo Hashtag TV, Out and About, King Gillens. We out of here, baby. Let's do it.